About two months ago, we posted a contest and said we're gonna be giving you guys a Q and A. We asked you guys to leave us some questions. A 1K giveaway. We hit 1K. Yay! Yay! And you guys left us plenty of questions. So today, we are going to answer your questions. So we want to start off first of all by thanking everybody that entered the contest. All our new subscribers, all our old subscribers, all y'all that just subscribed to win the contest. Thank y'all too. <laughs> so, <laughs> so without any further ado, we're gonna jump right into the questions. All right. So kind of if you see her looking down, it's because she got her phone. Oh yeah, I got my phone. So she's on the phone. Yeah, she's grabbing all the questions out the phone. So Daria took the time to organize the questions by category. So we got about five different categories. So we'll start off with. Um, questions we got about kids. So, question number one was from the Glow Getter. How is it adjusting to life with a new baby and now two kids? You got a milli right when you say that name, the Glow Getter. Okay, <laughs> I like that name. Sound like some makeup. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. I, I didn't hear the question. I'm sorry. How is it adjusting to life with a new baby and now two kids? Okay, so for the first question, we got a few different ones from different people, um, but they basically wanted to know how our life has changed since we added a new baby to the family. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, yeah, okay, we'll both answer. All right, a new baby and now two kids. So for me, it's, I, for me, Whitney hasn't been working yet, but she's about to go back to work. For me, it's just been <laughs> a lot of, Omari, Alicia, when we when we first had a baby, Alicia had a point where she kind of felt like, oh, you know, the baby's taking the attention, but it was like maybe one or two days where she felt like that. We talked to her and then everything got back to normal. So the big adjustment has been Omari and staying up late. Well, not, well, yeah, staying up late and waking up late. At least, even though Whitney wakes up with him, it's hard. <laughs> For me because I'm trying to go to sleep so I can get up in the morning so even though I don't fully wake up I kind of if I hear him waking up at 3 o'clock in the morning it's like that that's about 10 20 minutes of sleep I'm losing if I get back to sleep and then like as far as like um like lifestyle is just like all right now we're putting another car seat in the car and I gotta strap the thing in the basin and then put the car seat on top of the base and then take the car seat out, then put the car seat in the shopper cart, <laughs> then take the car seat out the shopper cart and God forbid if we gotta go, go to more than one store. And <laughs> so that's, that's been the adjustment for me. <laughs> so for me, so we had Amari in June. Alicia had just got out of school. So she was home the whole summer mm -hmm. so <laughs> for me at first it was really hard because he wanted to stay up all night like all night <laughs> and sleep most of the day so by the time daybreak came he was ready to go to sleep so i lay down with him but then alicia would wake up and she's like all right mom i'm hungry <laughs> and so she's a little bit older but she's not old enough to get up and go make her own breakfast yet so you know, I had to get up with her um, without trying, without, you know, waking him up, make her some breakfast. She let me lay back down. Um, eventually she wanted to get, you know, do stuff. So just trying to multitask with both of them and still show her attention while trying to get her to understand that, you know, he can't do anything for himself. So, you know, I, you know, I hate to keep saying, wait a minute, let me feed him. Cause Amari was feeding I mean, I felt like, honestly, that was all I did was just <laughs> laid in the bed and, and switch sides because that's how much you wanted to eat. But now, um, it's gotten a little better. So I've been out of work for three months. He just turned three months a couple of days ago. And I go back to work on Monday and I'm so sad. <laughs> <laughs> but she be working from home, so. I will, most of the time I'm working from home. But um, now he sleeps a little bit better during the night. Um, he wakes up a couple times, so he usually goes to bed. He he kind of on routine. Last night he kind of got off his little routine, but he'll go to bed about 11 or 12. 
and then he'll wake up at about five just to eat. Like he won't even open his eyes. He'll wake up at five, wants to eat, and he'll go right back to sleep. And that's probably 20 minutes. Um, and then he'll wake up again at like nine. So now it's getting a little bit better. We're kind of getting them on the schedule. It's, it's different for me because Alicia didn't breastfeed. So she slept through the night earlier than him. So like by this point, she was sleeping all night. So me, I'm just like, all right, Amari, when you gonna start sleeping all night? Yeah. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, so it's been good going out. Um, I'm telling you, I got adventurous this summer. Like <laughs> we just moved. So during that week when I had to go out and like with the apartment and stuff, cause he was working, he couldn't take off. Um, I had to go out by myself with them too. And Amari was like, what is going on? We've been out of the house every day this week. What are you doing, mama? So just, it's been, but it's been fun. You know, just adjusting to a new baby again. <laughs> All right, and real quick, if you're here and you want to know who won the contest, stick around to the end of the video, and we'll give you the details about that there. Okay, so next question came from Pleasant. Do you plan on having any more kids, and are you guys planning to have a big family? <laughs> well... If I had to answer today, no. We're not planning on having any more kids. And I guess they answer the second question. <laughs> yeah. All right, next question. Okay. GSMK family. And they ask, has there been a huge difference between having a boy versus a girl so far? Um, yeah, he pee on you. <laughs> You don't have to worry about that with the girl. Uh, even though Alicia boo booed on me. <laughs> she got him. I think he was like, the first week we brought her home. She. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, maybe we'll tell that story some other time. But anyway, uh, other than, you know, he pee on you cause, cause he got a pee pee. It's just like, I, I can't. Mean, it's a difference in the babies. Yeah. I don't necessarily think it was gender. Gender, yeah. It's, he's just a different baby than Alicia was. Yeah, Alicia was real calm unless she was hungry. But other than that, as a baby, baby, she wouldn't cry. She'd just sit there and watch TV. Uh, if you just left her on the bed, she'd just lay there. Him? <laughs> Hold on. Let's. Let, I'm just stop talking for a second. So yeah, yeah. He he's a crab baby. <laughs> he likes to have the attention. Yeah. He wants him to talk to him all day. So yeah. <laughs> if he's not eating. Yeah, he, he uh he does a lot of crying. So it's just like, hey, you gotta you gotta hey I'm worried, it's okay. How you doing? Huh? And he'll give you a smile, hey Mari, hey, hey Mari. Yeah, but but if you ain't talking to him, <laughs> I don't know. He might have covered out the smile. Y'all might not have caught the smile. <laughs> but if you're not talking to him, or like if we got a little swing that rocks back and forth, plays nice little music. Alicia used to love that. She's sitting there all day. Like if you need to clean up or you need to cook, Alicia's sitting there and just relax. Him, he'll rock about two, three oh, times. A little while. Like, he'll sitting there for a little he'll while. He'll sitting there for a little while, but yeah. And he get tired of sitting there. He like, nope. You gonna hold me. For some reason, he don't like us to eat. Like, he know when we eating. Like, he smell the food or something. And it's not that he hungry, because we need to feed him right before we eat. And as soon as we sit down to eat, he go off. And then right. That's a, that's, you gonna look at Oh, you go Like, that ain't true? That's, that's how you go play for the camera? Yeah, he gonna shake his head. Yeah, yeah, yeah he a trip, y'all. Yeah. All right. All right, next question is from Whitney Powell, and she asks, how old are your sweet baby? So, Alicia is six. She'll be seven in October. October 23rd. Third. And Amari just turned three months. And his birthday is? June 5th. <clears throat> All right, so that was it for the kids section. 
So that was it for the kids section. The next set of questions are about YouTube. And the first one came from Denzel Lil. And they asked, what is your reason for joining YouTube? And who is your favorite YouTuber? I think it's just one person, but... Uh... Why would you join YouTube and who is our favorite YouTuber? Mm -hmm. My favorite YouTuber, hands down now, <laughs> is Will Smith. It, it's kind of... And it's kind of a T-co because, you know, my favorite actor, my favorite activist, just an all-around cool person. Will Smith, if you're watching this, I entered the contest, you know, I would really love to come to your birthday party, happy 50th birthday, you know, whole, you know, just, just pluck my name out of there and then, we, you know, but other than Will Smith, we talked about this on one of the other YouTube videos too. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, what's his name? Casey Neistat. Yeah. Yeah, as a vlogger. Uh, my favorite family. Mm. I like new family. The um five. Oh yeah, he is so funny. Yeah, yeah he so is cute. funny. He, <laughs> this is they kind of new. Uh, they had Queen Tuplets. Yeah. They had five five babies, and the guy is so funny. It's, it's so but it's funny. it's kind of like corny funny, like dad joke funny, but uh. I don't know their name off the top of my head, but here we go. I'll leave it on the screen. Yeah, it's probably my favorite family right now. Yeah, they are hilarious. Mm. And then we watch, well, I watch other stuff like gaming and, uh, yeah, but yeah, that'll do. And then why did we join Yeah, YouTube? our reason for joining YouTube, um, Is it we, okay. Oh, okay. to be honest, we, uh-oh, what's the matter? Eating the milk now. To be honest, we recorded anyway, like especially around the holidays and stuff. We didn't record as much as we do now, but like around holidays and stuff like that, and just going back over old footage, you know, that's some of that stuff was funny, especially the baby footage we had of Alicia. So we figured, why not share it? You know, just share our journey. Um, we we like to inspire people. One of our goals um, is if we have another page 25 life but one of our goals for that is to inspire young and married couples so um we kind of want to show two sides because that one isn't really about us so then we want to show our family as well so what would you say i think youtube also like being a youtube makes you kind of get creative with what you want to do as far as life so i feel like it motivates us to do things we wouldn't do like we tried Home Chef. I wouldn't try Home Chef without YouTube. I ain't gonna lie, I did Home Chef for YouTube. Just <laughs> just to be like, hey, that's another video. And Home Chef is good. Like, we haven't tried anything from Home Chef that we did not like. Yeah, it's like, I think we like three weeks in and everything has been good. Like, I, whew, and, and then they give you so many different combinations flavors, of flavors yeah. that you wouldn't think about putting together. Yeah. But uh, other stuff like, like I wanna, you know, everybody said you got a bucket list, but this kind of gives me a reason to like actually do my bucket list. Like, so I mean, I feel like YouTube pushes me to be a better, to be a better person in life and to live a better life. If that makes sense. Yeah, I'm gonna try to Okay, so the next question came from Monique Tussett. Is that <laughs> Okay. All right. So the next question came from Monique Tussett, and she asked. With the current success of your family vlog, what are your goals for the coming year? How do you plan to make a bigger impact? And what exactly do you want people to take away from the joys of watching your family? Good question. That's a long, <laughs> detailed question. <laughs> Our goal, and to answer all those questions, except for the last one, is just be more consistent, just to post more, just to let y'all see us more. and hopefully what people take away from it is that we're just a happy family and like you can be young happy married and live your life and still have fun if you don't get nothing that's out this it'd be it'll be like be happy right you know just live life to the fullest um we love to travel so we hope to inspire other people to travel and try new things and you know we're living and learning and hopefully people can Take away some good tips from us like um we're busy working 
regular people, you know? Right. So, <laughs> um, we try Home Chef because, you know, it kind of fit our lifestyle at the time. It was like, you know, we were eating out a lot. Like, so it was like, I don't feel like cooking and I don't feel like going grocery shopping. So, um, Home Chef made it easier. And like I said, we love to travel. So if you haven't watched a vacation vlog, we just went on a vacation and that's fun. Yep. Um, and yeah, just be happy. Just do what makes you happy. Right, Amari? You be happy. <laughs> Next question came from Alicia Danielle. How do you all stay consistent with videos and how do you come up with the content of each video? So, honestly, you're really not being consistent. <laughs> uh, right. <it's> just... <laughs> We're trying to be more consistent with the videos, especially now since we um, moved to the apartment. We kind of got, you know, uh, a little bit more room i guess to record and stuff like that so we our goal is to become more consistent with the videos um how we come up with content um well with the vlog we kind of just try to shoot as we live um but we do have a what we call what uh, workshop what do we call there's more for 25 like oh yeah it is so we just kind of just live and yeah, <laughs> I mean, for the vlog, it's really just our life. Like, it's it's no plan. It's just like, okay, we doing something. Let's record. Like, oh, we can record it. Right. And then for anything that's not the vlog, it's probably just like a challenge. So right. if something if something's like trending funny. or it's funny, we find it funny. We think like, okay, that'd be fun for us to do as a family. Then we'll do it. Hey. But, that's it. Isn't that right, Amari? Yes. Yes, he said that's right, y'all. Yeah. Ain't that right, Amari? Ain't that right? Ain't that right, Amari? Huh? Ain't that right, Amari? Huh? Huh? I'm gonna ignore you guys. Huh? Okay, you just gonna look out the window. You better not smile when I turn you around. <laughs> Alright, so last question we got about YouTube came from Jack ML. And it's what's your subscriber goal? Uh, oh, you. We want to. We want to be the first YouTubers with a billion subscribers. That's a big goal. <laughs> Booyah. <laughs> yeah. So I mean, I honestly don't have a subscriber goal. I just, you know, hope people if people find us and they like us, you know, subscribe. We love to have you. Um, but I, I don't. You know, I just. I want good subscribers, you know, good loyal subscribers, not just a number. A bunch of random people. Right. You want subscribers that's going to contact, make, comment, and actually take something from the video. Right. Yeah. Right. So, that's just the goal. All right. So, the next group of questions is about lifestyle. So, Brandon Gaming asks, what's your favorite job? Oh, there's some of them you can skip. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. Uh, traveling. Oh, YouTube. <laughs> YouTube my favorite job. No, we don't get paid for YouTube, by the way. No, well, not yet. We got like eight dollars. <laughs> I just want to be a professional traveler. He looked at me like eight dollars. What are you gonna do at eight dollars? You ain't better no get with it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So next question came from Soul Trip. How do you find time for yourselves individually and for each other as a couple raising two young kids? What does self-care and date nights consist of? Uh oh, okay, all right. I don't, I don't know, we don't really plan like date nights or uh, self, as far as self-care, I don't know what that means. Maybe that's for Whitney. Self-care, I just take showers. That's, <laughs> are you talking about like going to the gym? Maybe. Yeah, yeah, just find the time for yourself. Things you like to do. I, I get up at, well not now, but um, what I do. I get up at 4.30. When I go to the gym, I get up at 4.30 in the morning and go to the gym before work. Um, that's, that's about it. That's the only thing I really do. I mean, as far as self-care. And then, as far as like date night and find time for each other. He is really over here straining. Y'all hear him? Yeah, they looking at you. <laughs> as far as date night and stuff like that we don't really plan anything 
we ha well we haven't planned anything yet it's just like uh whenever we got help like if her mom comes up here or uh if, if my sister volunteers to keep the kids or something like that then we'd be like all right let's go to the movies right so. yeah my mom okay she said yeah before she can even get in the door, we like, all right, <laughs> we haven't done it like that. <laughs> but yeah, so self care, I honestly haven't found time yet. Um, <laughs> with my with breastfeeding, honestly, it's just it's very time consuming. So every three to four hours, TV, and sometimes sooner than that. Um, as far as yeah, date nights and stuff, just. When we can, you know, we'll go out to eat, but we'll have the kids, so. <laughs> yep. All right. So, as you can see, we're in the room now. I don't know, the baby started crying, the camera died, a hurricane came. We have watched the ocean and its fury for the past few hours. It's a, <laughs> a lot happened, so we had to switch it up a little bit. So, instead of just, you know, we're gonna start over. You know, stuff happens, this is life. Like, we switched up a little bit. All right, so, next question. All right, so, um, we had a few questions about vacations um, after the cruise, where we want to go, um, what's our next holiday, and country we want to visit. So, we we'll answer those. All right, so, you mean, I start off? <laughs> All right, I just start <laughs> off. So, the country, well, places we got, plan that we know we're definitely gonna do. So, we turned 30 in 2020? 19, you turned 30 next year. Okay, 2019, no, 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 no. Yes, 2018, you turned 30 in 2019. Okay, we turned 30 <laughs> next year. So my birthday is in October, her birthday is in June. She's already 29, I'm turning 29 this year. So for our 30th birthday, we've been planning on going to Vegas. So we want to kind of do it for both of our birthday, but closer to my birthday, because Vegas is hot during the summer. So we definitely don't want to go to Vegas in June. But we also just for well, that would be a family trip. We want all our family and friends to come out, and join us in Vegas, shoot a little dice, have a little fun, gamble, little party. You know, not, not catch some shows. Oh yeah, catch some. So I want to see a magic show. Am I? Am I? Like, am I corny for that? No, I didn't think so. <laughs> so I want to see a magic show. But anyway, we definitely plan on doing that. And we've been planning that for like two, three years. So, but recently we just added California to it. So we want to go make like a week trip, go to California during the week and then go to Vegas on the weekend. So hopefully we can get that ironed out. And then, um, anything else definite? Hawaii? Hawaii and Jamaica. Hawaii and Jamaica. So we got two more trips planned. I'll let her tell you about Hawaii and Jamaica. So Jamaica, I think it's after Vegas. That's the next one we're supposed to do. Um, and it'll be like, we're gonna fly. We're not gonna cruise to Jamaica. We're gonna fly over and stay. Um, we actually went to Jamaica for our honeymoon. But, so that's gonna be the next one. And then after that, his dad wants to go to Hawaii for his 55th birthday. So that'll be a few years from now. Um, so those are the next two after Vegas. So those are the ones we got, but we like to plan way ahead of time, as you can see. Um, what about places you plan on going? Is there anywhere you want to go that we haven't been out of the country, in the country? Um, I really still want to make the trip to Thailand. Um, for those of you who don't know, we were supposed to go to Thailand with my cousin John. But somebody want to get pregnant. But somebody want to get people pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, we were supposed to go to Thailand back in April, but we found out we were pregnant last October, so we had to cancel our trip to Thailand. Yeah. So that's that's yeah. on the list. I still want to go to Thailand. My cousin said it was absolutely amazing. He would definitely go back. So we're going to try to make that happen. I want to go to one of those places, like a, a resort where they got the, now I gotta learn how to swim first, <laughs> but a resort where they got the like, the little huts or- Oh, the bungalows. Yeah, in the water, like a, what is it? They got them in Jamaica, they have sandals. Oh yeah, I showed you that, yes. Yeah, Jamaica, 
Tahiti, um, my, 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 Yeah. Uh, what is this, another one? You got the same name, like, Bahi Bahi or? Bor Bor. Bor Bor. So I want to go to one of those places like that, just to relax. It'll be so relaxing, you know, right on the beach, sun, fresh air. Yeah, that'd be nice. Well, and then in in the US, uh we've been in New York City before, but I feel like I don't know, it's like something's calling me to New York City. It's like come, come, come to the city, come have fun. I don't know, I, I don't know, I just got a feeling like go to New York City. Like the hurricane, if y'all don't know, uh Hurricane Florence just hit North Carolina. It's devastating, you know. Yeah, uh, luckily, um, it, it was headed straight to where we live at first, but then it kind of curved off and made a C around, around us. <laughs> so we like middle North Carolina and we didn't really get hit as bad as the coast. And, um, yeah, at first it was coming straight towards us and we weren't about to stay for it. We was about to be out of here. Yeah, so I was like, look, let's go to Georgia. And then the hurricane was like, no, nah, I'm going to Georgia. And then I was like, all right, well, let's just go to New York. Something was calling me to go to New York. Let's go to New York. And then the hurricane kind of went around our city so we were all right we didn't leave but places in in north i mean in uh you know us new york city i definitely want to go to new york city all right you got anywhere inside yes um probably new orleans oh yeah yeah i've been hearing a lot of people talk about new orleans i booked a couple trips with clients in new orleans and they really enjoyed it so um i think that's for me on my top 10. Top 10. So next we have, what is your favorite hobby? I guess family hobby. What is your favorite family hobby? Is it family? Hobby and family. What is your favorite hobby and family? All right, it's on you. Um, my favorite family hobby is probably board games um, and movie nights. Movie night. Yeah, I was about to say watching movies. Yeah, so we really like those two. We can sit down as a family and we got, if you could see our, we had like two boxes of board games. I might show y'all because we're not done packing it. We can finish <laughs> unpacking everything before uh, this video comes out. I'm going to show y'all all the board games we got. Like, And Alicia probably has just as many as we got. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot. So she had like Sequence Junior and Scrabble Junior, Monopoly Junior, everything Junior. Everything Junior. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so. Um, other than that, uh, what was I about to say? Oh, probably YouTube. Like, Alicia loves to get on camera now, so any video opportunity we got to put her in or throw her in there, we do that. So YouTube too. Yep. All right, so how do you celebrate the birthday of one of your family members? Well, we just talked about going to Vegas for a break. I was about to say, mostly vacation. Um, we do we do, we do, do dinner sometimes. Like, yeah. It depends on what year it is, who it is. I mean, if you mean just us, then for like Alicia, we probably like get Ooh, like, a, yeah, get like a bounce house room or like go to Sky Zone, if y'all know what that is, a trampoline place. Oh, yeah. Uh, something like that. But for us, usually it's a trip. We didn't do anything for me this year because we had Mari. Yeah, so we we take a cruise or go to somewhere. We like vacationing, so that's probably gonna be the number one option for us. All right. And what is your favorite restaurant? All right. No, I'm gonna answer yours, and you gonna answer mine. And see if we get it right. Okay. All right. Her favorite restaurant. Suck. Is no, uh, uh, no, you can't cheat. That's no, no, okay. No, 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 I don't gotta pick one because you got 20 of them. She eat out more than she eat in. Not anymore because we got home chef. Oh, yeah, yo. Did you skip home chef this week? No, they did it because of the hurricane. Oh, okay. I was trying to show you, but I forgot to tell you all the people was out there. So, okay. Um, <laughs> her favorite restaurants, because let's get it straight, is more than one. Her favorite restaurant, if I had to say. It's probably she not she, well you know she ain't got no choice but to admit it. It's um Ruth Chris, expensive taste. We can't eat there all the time. <laughs> so her backup restaurants is uh she like Chinese slice Japanese food. So I would say Kanki and P F Chain. That's it. Ruth Chris, Kanki and P F Chain. Thank you. <laughs> and for him uh oh. Sorry, 
For him, his favorite restaurant is Cheesecake Factory. And he also likes Chili's. He used to like Chili's a whole lot. Chili's used to be my favorite. Yeah, I go with Cheesecake Factory now. Yeah. Yeah, what if? That's probably right. What if? No, that's it. Cheesecake Factory. You know what? But lately, we have gotten on Longhorn because they got these really good appetizers. I ain't even trying that, so I can't consider that my favorite, but them appetizers are so good, I can't even order no food. <laughs> I just be like, yo, bring me the appetizers. <laughs> no, bring me the other appetizers. I get like four appetizers. But they got, like, if I can't go to Ruth Chris, then if, and if I want steak and lobster, I'll go to Longhorn. But, but yeah, Pimp Chain, Conkeys, if you never been to them, just try them. Uh, what about fast food? Fast food? For you or me? For me. For you? Fast food? Probably would wing stop if you consider that fast food or like a drive through Yeah, as long as they got a drive through Um, that's tough because you like Taco Bell and, but you only like Taco Bell when they got nacho fries. Right, they make me sick every time I take them away. <laughs> but you like Zaxby's. That you was on Zaxby's hard one time. That's probably it. The only thing is we don't got that on us right now. So I can't go yes, to Zaxby's. You just didn't wait for it. You just... I, ain't, I don't need no one that though. We gotta, <laughs> we gotta go downtown. I ain't trying to go downtown for no Zaxby's. If it ain't like around the corner, nah. But yeah, it's Zaxby's. And then I'll say like Chipotle, but I wouldn't consider that drive through so not fast food, fast food. Yeah. Um, For you, Chick-fil-A. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we live in Raleigh, North Carolina. We were born and raised. Is it my question? My turn. Mm -hmm. We were born and raised in North Carolina. Uh, we grew up in small towns. I grew up in Rich Square. Of course, y'all don't know where that is. That's that. She grew up in Runner. Well, well then, it's closer to Runner Rapids. Two small towns in North Carolina, like very small towns. And we now stay in the capital of North Carolina, Raleigh. Um, that's it. Did you enjoy your summer? I did. You know, we had a lot of big things happening this summer. We had the baby. We had the cruise. Um, I was at work <laughs> for three months. AKA, okay? AKA sleeping. <laughs> so now I just went back to work, and this first week was exhausting. But we can go. We can tell you about that. But yeah. So yeah, I, I really did enjoy my baby this summer. We did a lot of moving. Yep, we moved. <laughs> so it was good. We got to hang out with family. Mm -hmm. Good summer. So on to relationship type questions. How did you guys meet? Good question. It's a video over here. <laughs> Click on that video and you can see how we met. All right. Where and when what? When, when is you people's first kiss? When, when was your first kiss? That's your question. No, that's your question. <laughs> uh, yeah, our first ahead. kiss. Well, our first kiss was uh, at the prom. Did we go to Dad and Fire before the prom? It was after the prom. Cause I went to your junior prom. Mm -hmm. Dad and Fire, we was together. Oh, okay. Look at her, got the wrong answer, y'all. She don't even look at her. No, look at her. No, it wasn't. We went to prom. At the prom was in May, and Diamond Party was in April. No, we went together. I mean, we wanted when we went to your first prom. You was with the dude, and then we went to Diamond Party. We was together, together. Yeah. Look at her, no, y'all. Diamond Party was in April, and our no. prom was in May. Man, it was in May 2006. I remember because that was Diamond Party was in April. Her birthday is in I, April. Yeah, it won't. It was. It was senior year then. No, it was junior year. No, it won't. Yes, it was. How I get there? Rachel. No, no. How I get to Rachel? How did you get to Rachel? I drove. I won't drive in junior year. Thank you. Look at her, y'all. You know what? No. No. Mama watching the pictures. Right. Look, she don't even know our first kiss. <laughs> yes, I do. Mm. <laughs> mm. No, because I was trying to remember. Because, mm. no, those things, it, you did not drive. No, Rachel, I mean, Diamond's party was junior year. We was just hanging out. You had roll with Philip or something to run a rabbit. Diamond turned 16 my junior year. 
She had a 16th birthday party? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> he don't remember. His memory. Ask him how ask him how good his memory my is. My memory is bad. My short term memory. My long term memory is good. What happened? Down in her sixteen. You got the problem. Okay. Whatever. Anyway. Alright, that wraps up the Q and A. So if you wanna see the contest winner, then just click that link above us and that's gonna take you to the contest winner. We ain't wanna jam it in here. And I don't wanna have people skipping all through here trying to find the contest winner. So just click the video up there or the video at the end of this video and it'll take you straight to the contest winner of our 1K giveaway.